Now, this, this uh, image is on the cover of my book. Um, as you would probably guess, this is a 9,550-year-old spruce tree. <laughs> um, it's, uh, so this lives on a mountaintop plateau in Sweden. Um, this is essentially a portrait of climate change. Um, what you're looking at, so you see there's a sort of scrubby mass of branches uh, near uh, the, the soil line. Um, for 9,500 years, that's all you would have seen. Uh, in the past 50, that central spindly stalk grew, central trunk developed when, the, as the climate zone got warmer on the top of this mountaintop plateau. Um, so this is not the only tree that's behaving like that. Um, a team of environmental scientists had gone to the area to do this research and ended up discovering all these ancient trees. So again, this is growing clonally. So this will uh, differentiate from the bristlecone pine, which I'll, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, but this is still remarkable because this is in a very remote place. It's in a park, so you can find it, although its exact location is meant to be kept secret, so we don't encourage too much traffic to it. But I was really struck by how, for one thing, that we in our lifetimes can visually see the effects of climate change in this organism, but also that it's not like a whole city has been built up around it or the exhaust fumes are right, you know, right there present. You know, this is in this remote place and basically nothing is unaffected.